remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? Today is Tuesday, the day after Martin Luther King Day. I need everyone within the sound of my voice to call Barbers Hill High School and give them an earful. Here's what they did, family. They have a student that goes there by the name of DeAndre Arnold. They put him in in-school suspension and told him he couldn't walk during graduation until his dreadlocks are cut short to meet the district's revised policy, which changed after the Christmas break. DeAndre said his refusal to cut his hair is due to his Trinidadian background. Gary Monroe with the United Urban Alumni Association spoke to the board members on his opposition to the dress code. He told them that they were in violation of the 1964 Civil Rights Act as it pertains to religious beliefs. These people, I tell you, man, they all need to be replaced, starting with the principal. And if nobody at the school wants to act, then you got to go higher. You got to go really to the school board. They got to be brought down and ran up out of that. Now, this meeting took place on Monday night and DeAndre's family uh, had a chance to speak with several activists. One of the activists said, let's stop with the dress code. This is not about dress code. This is about policing black boys. We all know what it is, man. Here's what the dress code actually says in regards to hair. Boys' hair will not extend below the eyebrows, below the earlobes, or below the top of a t-shirt collar. Cornrows and or dreadlocks are permitted if they meet the aforementioned lengths. I want you now to take a close look at the Barbers Hill Boys High School basketball team and tell me how many boys you count who are in violation of the dress code? Take a look at those hair lengths. Tell me how many you see whose hair extends below the eyebrows and below the earlobes or below the top of a t-shirt collar. Family, it's plain and simple. This is about race. This is, a, and you know what? It may be a little bit more than race. It may be the fact that, you know, we don't, I don't like him, but because he's black, you know, I'm going to hit him with this penalty. I'm going to lean on him a little harder because I don't think he's going to be able to defend himself. So it's, it always leads back to race no matter what anyway. So, Barbers Hill, if I had a kid that went to that school that was not white, I'd take him out. And, and, and in fact, if I'm white and I'm decent, which I am, no matter what my ethnicity would have been, I would have been a decent person, I'd take my kid out of that school anyway. See, that's how you really break it up. All the people that claim to be decent, all the people that claim to be good people, when it don't affect you directly, you should still, if you, if you claim to be decent, if you, if you claim to be a good person, it should still affect you. You should still have some type of empathy. And you should take action. You should be offended, just as DeAndre and his parents are and his supporters are. It's just like all of those ball players, those white ball players and uh, non-black ball players who didn't take a knee during uh, football. If you're really a decent person, if you're really the good person you claim to be, why not stand on the right side of history? Why not 
support justice. You know, we say the same thing about dirty cops, don't we? We say, a lot of people say, well, ain't no good cops because if you was a good cop, you wouldn't sit by and let the dirty cops do what they do. You do something about it. So the people that are not directly affected by a lot of these uh, injustices, they're not the decent people that they claim to be. Because when you're decent, you're not going to be complicit in injustice. You're not going to be silent in regards to injustice. Now, I did see something in their dress code that I thought was commendable. It says that bedroom attire is not acceptable. Students may not wear pajamas or light garments. Something that would have never even been a thought when I was in school. Here's something that I didn't like about it. All rules and regulations are at the discretion of the campus principal. So if the principal don't like you for whatever reason, he can just decide at his discretion to suspend you. Kick you out of school if you want to. That's too much latitude for one person. That should be a decision of the board. It should first go to the rules and the regulations, and then if they can't figure it out, have a meeting with the board. I want to ask the same question that was posed initially. Why was this kid at this school all of those years with his dreads and he had no problem? And they wait until... He's five months away from graduation to change the rules. They change the rules in mid-school season. Who the hell does that? They change the rules, family, in mid-school season. And even though they change the rules, they're not even in compliance. You know, the irony here is that DeAndre was lawyer to Barbers Hill High School. He spent his entire academic career at that school. And this is the thanks he gets to the principal at Barbers Hill and anyone who was involved in the decision-making process of changing the rules mid-school season and forcing that kid into in-school suspension and threatening to not allow him to walk the stage for graduation and honor that he has surely deserved and he earned. Your mama should be embarrassed and your daddy should have pulled out. No more talk. What the talking about? Yeah.